What if you could upload your brain into an AI? What if death wasn't the end? What if your mind, every memory, thought, emotion, and experience could be copied, preserved, and uploaded into a digital world? It sounds like science fiction, but the race to digitally replicate the human brain is already underway. From Elon Musk's Neuralink to AI brain emulators and global research labs, we are inching closer to the age of mind uploading, a future where your consciousness could live on in code. But what does it really mean to upload your brain? Would it be you that survives or just a copy? Would your AI self think, feel, or even evolve? And what happens to humanity when minds go digital? In this video, we explore the science, technology, ethics, and implications of transferring consciousness to machines. What's real? What's speculative? and what might be coming sooner than we think. 1. The concept. What does uploading your brain really mean? Mind uploading, also called whole brain emulation, is the theoretical process of copying your brain's complete structure, neurons, synapses, memories, and running it on a digital system. Imagine scanning every part of your brain down to the molecular level and reconstructing it in software. That digital brain would think, reason, remember, and maybe even feel exactly like you. The big question, is that still you or just a simulation? Does consciousness require biology or can it emerge in silicon? This concept has roots in neuroscience, philosophy, and AI. And while we're nowhere near scanning a full brain today, the pieces are slowly falling into place. Two, current science mapping the human brain. Before you can upload a brain, you have to understand it. Today, researchers use tools like MRI, EEG, and two-photon microscopy to scan brain structure and activity. The Human Connectum Project and Brain Initiative are working to map every connection in the brain, a task involving over 86 billion neurons and trillions of synapses. High-resolution brain mapping is progressing, but even the most advanced scans can only observe brain regions, not thoughts. Still, new breakthroughs in neuron labeling, optogenetics, and nanoscale imaging are giving us better tools to map the brain in ever greater detail. This is step one, turning thought into code. Three, simulating neurons with AI models. Once the brain is mapped, the next step is emulating its function. Researchers are already building digital neuron models using neural networks. Projects like OpenWorm and BlueBrain are working to recreate tiny brain systems of simple organisms in software, replicating not just structure, but behavior. AI algorithms like transformers are inspired by how the brain processes language, memory, and vision. They aren't perfect, but they show that intelligence can emerge in digital systems. Some researchers believe that by simulating brain activity at the right resolution, down to ion channels and electrical spikes, consciousness may emerge even without a biological substrate. The hardware barrier. Can computers run a human mind? Even if we knew exactly how to emulate a brain, could today's computers run it? Estimates suggest simulating a human brain in real time would require at least an exaflop of computing power. A billion billion calculations per second. That's far beyond most devices today, but supercomputers and AI chips are rapidly closing that gap. Companies like NVIDIA, Intel, and Cerebrus are building neuromorphic processors designed to mimic brain-like computations more efficiently. And with the rise of quantum computing, we may eventually reach the speeds needed for full brain emulation, bringing the hardware reality closer than ever. 5. Brain Uploading Methods Scanning, Slicing, or Streaming How would we actually get your brain into a machine? There are three primary methods being proposed. Post-mortem slicing, Ultra-thin brain slices are scanned and reconstructed in 3D. Accurate, but destructive. In vivo nanoscanning, hypothetical nanobots could map your brain while you're alive, without harming tissue. Neural streaming, using neural interfaces like Neuralink to gradually upload memories and mental states over time. None of these are viable today, but research in brain-machine interfaces is evolving fast. Within decades, gradual partial uploading may become possible, starting with memory augmentation and ending with full self-preservation. 6. Consciousness or copy? The identity debate. Here's the real dilemma. If you upload your brain, is it still you or just a digital shadow wearing your memories? One school of thought argues that a perfect copy of your brain would feel exactly like you and carry on as if nothing happened even if the biological version ceased to exist. To that copy, the experience would be seamless. But others say a copy is in continuity, 
It's a replica with your memories, not your essence. Consciousness, they argue, requires uninterrupted biological awareness. This sparks a deep ethical and philosophical debate. Is continuity of consciousness necessary for identity? Or is your pattern of thought enough to define you? If digital immortality means becoming your own twin, are you truly surviving? Or are you just being replaced? 7. Digital Immortality – Living Forever in the Cloud If uploading your brain becomes possible, it opens the door to a new kind of existence. Digital immortality that transcends time, space, and biology. Your mind could live in the cloud, free from disease, aging, or death. You could back up your consciousness, copy it into avatars, or even pause and resume your existence like a computer program on demand. AI could enhance your thinking speed, creativity, and memory. You might experience virtual realities with total freedom, build your own world, visit others, or live across multiple simulations simultaneously without physical constraint. But eternal life in a machine may come with costs, loneliness, digital decay, ethical control, or mental instability over infinite time. The psychological toll of eternal consciousness may become a problem we've never prepared to face. Would eternal life be a blessing or a burden we were never meant to carry? 8. Legal, Ethical, and Ownership Questions If your brain lives on digitally, who owns it and who protects it? Would a company own your emulated consciousness? Could governments regulate or shut it down? Would you have legal rights in both physical and digital form? or lose them entirely. Some futurists argue we'll need digital personhood laws, granting uploaded minds autonomy, privacy, and freedom. Others worry about corporations exploiting brain data for profit or control, turning personalities into proprietary platforms. There's also the risk of mind hacking, altering thoughts, deleting memories, or cloning personalities against your will. Ethical boundaries become blurred when identity becomes editable. We must prepare legal frameworks today, because once minds become data, control becomes a matter of code, and freedom becomes a software setting. 9. Impacts on society, death, and culture If millions of people begin uploading their minds, it could radically reshape humanity, culture, spirituality, and even what it means to be alive. Religion, aging, retirement, all would change. We may see virtual societies of digital elders, simulated ancestors offering advice, or AI-based versions of lost loved ones helping with grief and personal growth. Even labor could shift. Uploaded experts could work forever, teaching, inventing, creating, unchained from physical limitations. Education, consulting, and creative industries would transform dramatically. But inequality looms. Who gets to upload? If only the rich can access digital immortality, it could deepen social divides and create a digital upper class. Ethics, access, and equity will become central to how society responds. We're not just facing a tech shift. We're facing a cultural and existential upheaval unlike any in history. 10. Are we close? What comes next? Today, we're still far from uploading a full human brain. But key components like brain mapping, AI modeling, and neural interfaces are advancing rapidly in parallel. Neuralink is already testing brain chips in humans. AI models are mimicking language and logic. Brain scanning resolution is improving yearly, and research into memory encoding is gaining momentum. Within 10 to 20 years, we may see partial mind uploading, augmenting memory, thought-to-text interfaces, emotion regulation, or preserving fragments of consciousness digitally in real time. And within the next 50, Full brain emulation may be achievable. If it arrives, it may begin with the sick, the elderly, or volunteers hoping to become pioneers in digital survival. Not everyone may want it, but for those who do, digital life may one day offer an alternative to death. One not bound by biology, but by bandwidth. Would you do it? Uploading your brain to an AI is no longer just a fantasy. It's a frontier we're slowly approaching. Through science, software, and philosophy. The dream of preserving the self beyond biology is one of the most powerful ideas of our time, but it raises questions we can't ignore. What defines you? What is consciousness? And what price are we willing to pay for immortality? Would you upload your mind knowing it may outlive your body? Like, comment, and subscribe for more deep dives into the future of AI, consciousness, 
and the evolving boundary between man and machine. Because one day clicking save on your brain might just mean forever.